Good evening, my peeps. How's everybody doing today? You see, I try to get cute with my little hairstyle today. Yes. Put a little makeup on. Just a little bit of lipstick. This is Mary Kay. My aunt sells Mary Kay, so that's what I'm wearing right now. Today, I'm feeling much better than the last two days. Um, The last two days were like hell for me. Like I said, when my mom left out that day, and it, excuse me, my son is in the background making a noise so he knows i'm in the middle of recording get out of here anyway today is feeling like i was saying today i'm feeling much better than i felt the last two days um um the last two days well the day it started when the day my mom left in the cab and i don't know what happened i just started crying and crying and crying and that whole day was an emotional mess for me i was crying one minute i was happy the next i was sad and it continued on to the next day with that, with me. Um, my doctor, I spoke to my doctor. I called her to make sure everything was okay with me. And she was telling me that my hormones, that's just my hormones adjusting, going back to normal after surgery. And she did a survey on me to make sure I wasn't going to, you know, injure myself or hurt myself or harm myself or make sure I wasn't depressed to the point that I needed medication. And I wasn't. It was just a natural hormonal thing I was going through. So, like I said today... I feel better than the last two days than I ever felt. As you see, I put a little makeup on, so I must be feeling better. I tried to do my hair to be cute, so I guess I'm feeling better. No, I, I shouldn't say I guess. I know I'm feeling better. Put it that way. So what I did do, I emailed my doctor this morning and asked permission to drive. I haven't heard back from her yet, so I hope she heard email me back and like, I know she told me if I wasn't taking medication and it has been two weeks that I could drive a short distance. So I hope she said, yeah, it's okay to drive. So if it's okay to drive, I'm going to take a little ride out later. So that might make me um, happy. Not too far. The shopping center, as you know, in the dumpster divers videos, the shopping center is right directly behind my house. I can at least drive there and maybe go to Safeway or go to the dollar store again, if anything, just to get out the house. So... I might do that. Um, yesterday and or through the night, I've been watching movies, a lot of movies, different movies, on Prime, Amazon Prime Video, um, Cinema, Hulu. Uh, what else I watch it on? And of course, I watch my YouTube. But I was watching this morning the Billy Holiday movie. Um, not the old one, the Lady Sings the Blues with Donna Ross and Billy D. This was a new one called um. United States versus Billie Holiday. And you know what? It's a shame how they did that woman. I mean, I know she was addicted to, I know she was addicted to, what do you call it? Drugs or hair running, whatever. She had a drug problem. But the government, that's, that's messed up how they did her. They had to keep messing with that woman all her life. Even though she was sober and clean, they still continue to pick with that lady, pick with that lady, pick with that lady. All, all her life up to her death. Try to plant drugs on that lady. Um, just all because you want to sing some song. Um, I forgot the name of the song. Fruitful something. It was called something. And I guess the song, I have to look at the lyrics or hear the song. It's something having to do with the government. They thought the government said it has something to do with, I guess, I don't know. They they, they thought that people were going to turn against the government. I don't know what the song was about, really. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I don't know what the story's about, but that's what it made it sound like in the movie. But it was overall... It was a good movie, but it was still messed up how they did that lady, man. I can't believe they did that. Even that lady was dead. Even she after she had died, she had cirrhosis of the liver. And that was in her dying bed. The FBI still continued and the government harassed that lady. Harassed her, harassed her, harassed her. And the damn thing is, when she had died, they had nerve to arrest her dead. Who does some shit like that? FBI cruddy. Government cruddy, cruddy, cruddy. Another movie I watched was Coming to America 2. Now, they said this movie was supposed to come on tonight, Friday. This movie I seen on Prime last night, and I hit play, and it started playing, so I watched it. Um, overall, I enjoyed the movie. I really enjoyed the movie. It, it was a good movie, but it was not as much comedy as I thought it was going to be in the movie. Because the first one was a lot more funnier than this one, but this one was good, too. Um, they had a great storyline. I'm glad they kept the same storyline from the previous um, coming to America, just carried on as the characters got older, with a different different scenario, um, with the with the movie. Um, 
I love the way the characters were playing um, different characters in the movie. Arsenio Hall was Baba or whatever, and Arsenio, uh, what was his name? Eddie Murphy was the soul singer, the dread, with the, uh, Jerry Carroll, Juice Netta, all that. I, liked the, I loved the way they played the different characters within the movie of the show. That was, that was overall good. Um, but Leslie Jones, I never really seen her act. I seen her on Supermarket uh, Speak Game um, game Show. And I really don't like her too much on that, her acting. I think she does better on the stage as a comedy. I mean, as a comedy. <laughs> she does better on stage doing comedy as a comedian than acting. Because um, I don't like her on Supermarket Streets. This movie, she played a better part. I liked her in this movie. She Her part in this movie, her, um, her character, she played the part really good in this movie. But I don't know about this girl because, I mean, I might look like it sometime too. Why her eyes always look like she's drunk? Not her. Her eyes look like she's just a straight out drunk. Like she just turns up. Her eyes is like yellow and glassy and red at all times. Her eyes look like alcoholic eyes. I mean, I probably got alcoholic eyes too. I drink a lot, but her eyes look like slam damn I'm drunk eyes. I'm sorry, top of the lady. I like Leslie Jones and everything. I'm sorry. And Tiana Taylor part. Her part was okay. I was surprised that she was even playing the movie. I didn't, I didn't realize it was her till the second time. But the thing is, when she did the bark like a dog part, it wasn't like, you know, on the first coming to the American the woman was barking like a dog. Hers seemed more real and natural. Tiana Taylor seemed like it was fake and written. It was rehearsed. I didn't like the way she did that part. That's the only part I didn't like about that. And Tracy Morgan. Tracy Morgan stays a hot mess in everything he plays. I loved his character in this movie. I really, really did. Over and all, the movie Come, that Come, Coming to America 2 was pretty good. I wouldn't give it thumbs up. I'll give um, Billy Holiday movie thumbs up. I haven't watched too much of anything else than YouTube. Like I said, I'm, YouTube, I'm a YouTuber. I'm trying to be new to this YouTube. I'm trying to get on here like I say, have fun. I'm trying to meet friends. I'm trying to do whatever. Yesterday, I had a video up, but I accidentally took it down, so... This morning, yesterday my son cooked me a bomb breakfast. He cooked us both for breakfast. My boy put his foot in it, yo. He had um, waffles and bacon for me. He had waffles, bacon, and eggs for him. We both had a good old hot cup of coffee. We sat down, we chilled, we talked. I'll probably upload that, or I'm not going to upload it. I'm going to probably put that video right behind this one. Make it all one one video. Because that one's very short. It's like two minutes. So I might just add it on to this one. When this one finishes, I'll just add that breakfast video on from yesterday. Um, so you all can see the good food he made, the good, the good thing he did. Uh, last night I cooked, I guess yesterday he was breakfast, and yesterday I was, uh, dinner, because I made roasted turkey wings, I made some mashed potatoes, I made some cabbage, so we had that left over. Today I'm not sure what we're going to have, I might try to make this, um, I, this, what I make this, okay, I make this pot roast thing, but I got this recipe from my mom's friend when she mixed it with the ranch dressing and the odd juice and... Pimentos, I think it is, something in the butter, whatever, in a crock pot. So I'm going to try tonight with the chicken in the crock pot to see how it tastes with the chicken. This is just an experiment. Could come out bad, could come out good. I don't know how it's going to come out. We'll have to see how it comes out. Other than that, it's Friday. And of course, you know, I'm bored. <laughs> I'm bored. I'm still recovering from my surgery. Um, there's nothing else to talk about. Or how I'm doing. I might be back on later. Um, I don't have any dumpster divers today because the old man already came. He came. He came. Well, he came. By the time I look out the window, he's in the process of getting back into the car. So I don't know what he has. The other lady that used to come, she comes around 7 o'clock in the morning. But I have some dumpster divers on my Facebook page. I need to somehow get it off my Facebook page. So if anybody out there can leave in the comments how I can get the videos. Off my Facebook page would be greatly appreciated. Um, other than that, my peeps, check out Coming to America too. Maybe leave a comment, see how you like it. Check out the uh, Billy Holiday movie; he might like it. You also check out the Lady Sings the Blues um, video about uh, when they Billy Holiday because there was some conflict. There was some difference in the movie. I mean, both of them showed her drug addiction. Which is, I mean, show more than being a drug addiction than a singer, but it was, it was, it was sad. She had a sad life. She died at forty four of cirrhosis. She, she was a great singer, and it's a shame how her life was. I mean, her mom had a prostitute early, and 
she was raped. But it's, that's 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 terrible, man. That's a real sad life to even live. But anyway, I'm about to be out of here. I'm going to play some Sims. Um, like play me some uh, gin rummy online. I do some online coloring. Maybe I might take a walk. I'm waiting for that doctor to um release me to the streets to the wheels of the car. That's what I'm waiting for. Get behind the wheel of the car today. I might be coming to a neighborhood near you. It's like I'm not going nowhere because of COVID out there for one. But I am probably, if anything, gonna go to the store and get another pack of chicken. Maybe I don't know. I might just go out in the car and just sit and drive around the block. Just be like, yeah, I got the whip. But anyway, if I get behind the wheel of the car today and the doctor okay, you know I'll be definitely back on here. Let you all know that I'm room room through the town. Room room into the town. And another thing, today I did not have to chase down Amazon. Because Amazon came right on time when it was said it was coming. Between 10 and 1, he got here at 11.15. He made my day. Even though I have nothing excited in it. But anyway, you all have a good weekend. What was I going to say? Like, share, subscribe to me. And I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Now that we were out. Peace. Good morning, everybody. Day 14 of my surgery recovery. Excuse my bonnet. does not match my shirt. Ha! I just want to share with everybody my breakfast that my 17-year-old made me. He's the bomb.com new chef. I got some good old coffee, bacon, waffles. I didn't want the eggs because I don't eat eggs. You'll see the video. I mean, you'll see the pictures next. This is. Look at the breakfast that my son made me this morning. Yes, for the queen bee. Coffee. Mm hmm. Bacon. Waffles. All for me. He's 17 and he did this for his mama. He's recovering from surgery. He's the best. I love him.